Hello, welcome to this requested video tutorial. You know, someone left a comment on my website asking if I can recreate this in Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Honestly, I don't use much Final Cut Pro and in Premiere we cannot create this kind of animation. So that's why I'm gonna recreate in After Effects. But first, uh, you know, I would like to suggest to use for this kind of animations, uh, a strokes, path of shapes. I re really recommend to use Photoshop. So, you know, Photoshop is my main program. I know, of course, if you know Illustrator is much better for using shapes or paths, you know, with Illustrator. But if you know Photoshop like mine, you know, I can really suggest to use Photoshop. As you see, it's easy to draw with the pen tool. So let me hit Command plus Command. That's the hard key, you know, to show the grid. And then, as I said, you can use this is much easier. And then we can jump into After Effects. So let me go ahead and pick the uh, rectangle random tool. So let me just go ahead and show you this way to create this. So let me just go right here, maybe. And also, if we go to properties, we can go the rounded. We can go 20, maybe, and also none fill. And the stroke, we can go ahead black. I mean, yes, and two pixels maybe for this project. Once we have this, we can hit the P on the keyboard, that's the hard key, you know. As soon as we approach to the path, you see the plus symbol, so we can just click and add another point. And also down here, we can just add another point, and we can just start deleting those uh, corners. So let me go ahead and hold it down command, you know, and click, and just hit the delete key, and then release the command, and just click again, and delete, click again, and delete, that's the is a way to delete the paths, you know. Then we can just hit the A key, select this, command C to copy, then we can jump into After Effects. So let me go ahead and open another project and start from the scratch. So let me command N, motion one. As you see, it's 1080p, it's six seconds long. So let me hit OK. And then we can right click, you know, and go shape layer. So we can create a path from here from this shape layer so let me just go and add a path and then we can go ahead and make sure the path is selected command small v to paste and you see the path so also we can go and add a stroke and also we can add a trim path that's the cool thing to animate the strokes and after effects once we have this we can go ahead and duplicate this holding down command d and then hit the r on the keyboard and let me just rotate this 180 degree so let me just rotate it and also hold it down shift and the left arrow we can move to the left right there so make sure it's close to the other one you know let me just go ahead you know with the arrows you can just play around and also we can just uh, turn on the title action save and then we can select both of them make sure the move tool is selected or the small b is the hot key you know and just move you know let me just put in the center you know and then we can go ahead and start animating the stroke so let me go and drop this down uh, you know trim pad and also make sure the end and start it's zero percent and also up here we can go ahead and close this open the content trim pad and we can go and make sure it's zero percent of them and make sure it's at the beginning so let me just pull this up a little bit so we can go ahead and add a keyframe starting in both of them and then we can go one second long you know and then we can uh, go all the way up to hundred percent at the start and the end let me go ahead and just go 100% and then what we can do is go ahead and select the keyframes right click keyframe assistant is ease or you can just hit the F9 that's the hard key you know once we have this we can go ahead basically we don't see anything let me just turn off the masks so let me just go ahead and see we don't have anything when we play so what we can do is go maybe 10 frames and then we can move the star keyframes right there and also down here we can move right there. So if we play, let me just go ahead and hit the end to start, I mean the out point and let me just press zero and this is what we have. Once we have this, we can go ahead and start creating the text. So let me close both of them, right click new text and then we can just type DIY camera slider and let me go ahead and align to the center of course let me just have in the center and you can have any you know font I'm using Roboto so let me just uh, you know maybe put this a different color kind of like red maybe you know and also we can make sure change to 
let me just go ahead and select all and change to regular maybe and then once we have this we can go ahead and deselect and select again and control D to duplicate command D to duplicate of course a Mac double click and let me call this a motorized and also we can go ahead and align to the center and also we can change the you know the font type to no let me just go ahead and have a light so once we have this we can select both of them hit the P you know that's the position we can just move the uh, motorize a little bit down so right there maybe and also this camera is lighter so let me just move up there so the text of course and once not too much uh, basically right there so once we have this if we go back there so this is what we have right now so we can start animating the text so let me just uh, select all of them I mean both of them hit P deselect for now so we can add a keyframe keyframe actually you know what let me just go back make sure the cursor is at the beginning of course zero frames and then add a keyframe keyframe go one second long and then add another keyframe you know so if we go back to the zero so we can go ahead and make sure the DIY it's a little bit down so let me just move the Y position down and also the motorized we can move up you know Y position of course and also we can change this color to white maybe just to have a nice you know and then what we can do if we see this is what we have so let me go ahead and select the keyframes F9 of course and then go inside the graphic editor and let me just go ahead and pull this down and make sure actually let me go ahead and select the keyframes down here and also we can I don't know if I already went into the uh, I need I need to uh, smooth this animation as well so let me just go ahead and pull this down actually you know what right there and this one right there if we go back the same thing with this uh, top of course a stroke and go inside the graphic editor and let me just uh, pull this and pull this a little bit down I mean in and this one as well if we play so let me just play and see this is what we have of course once we have this we can create the lines that we had at the sides so let me go ahead and close all of them you know so make sure to pick the pen tool make sure to stroke non fill and let me just pull this over here right there click and hold it on shift you know to have a straight line and there we have so once we have this as I said let me rename right command D to duplicate rename left and hit the P we can move to the left of course and there we have once we have this we can move up a little bit white position of course and there we have so let me just select the both of them you know and go and add a trim pad as I said that's the cool thing to animate a stroke so let me drop this down and drop this down so let me go back to zero and we can play in, let me deselect and we can play it in here actually this should be 0% at a keyframe and this should be the start point so let me just go all the way up to 100 at a keyframe and don't touch the end in here and don't touch the start I'll be here, down here this one so let me go uh, one second long I guess so let me just click this and let me go ahead 0% and this all the way up to 100% so if we play this is what we have basically so let me go ahead and select the keyframes hit F9 you know and let me go ahead inside the graphic editor make sure the move tool is selected and let me go ahead and just smooth the animation let me go back and play let me actually close this and play and see what we have this is what we have right now so what we can do is do a couple changes on the text so let me go ahead and actually move this down all the way down to the bottom the left and right so let me go ahead and see actually before doing anything else we can go ahead and see where we can start the lines uh, so let me go ahead and right there maybe right there we can start the animation so let me hit U and just move the uh, keyframes you know and also we can go ahead and do the same with the text so let me hit U and let me just move the uh, keyframes so if we play this is what we have so and also what we can do is the last thing is let me close this and pre 
compose this text so let me go ahead right click pre-compose the same name and also this one we can go ahead and pre-compose so let me go ahead and hit ok once we have this we can start adding the mask so we can see the nice animation so let me make sure leave it right there I should right there so let me go ahead and select the DIY camera slider and let me just go ahead and draw a mask you know and also the motorized so let me just go ahead and not um mask of course so let me just go right there and there we have so when we click and play this is what we have nice as you see so what we can do now is go ahead and you know do the reverse animation so that's simple so what we can do is just close all of them select all the layers right click and then we can pre-compose this and call hold comp and then what we can do is go ahead and you know right click time enable time remapping as you see we are at two keyframes at the beginning at the end as you see so what we can do is just play and see where our animation ends right there maybe so basically it's one thing so we can go ahead and add another keyframe select this keyframe command C to copy and then we can go one second 10 frames more so will be 220 so let me just go 220 and then we can paste so then what we can do is go ahead and leave one second 10 more frames so it will be four seconds in this case and then we can go ahead and copy this command C to copy and then command B to paste as you see and then we can delete this and play and see what we have this is what we have right now so keeps for a second then goes back you know plays comes in then stays then goes back that's the cool thing you know using Photoshop and After Effects to create the animation because in Premiere we can create a couple things but not like advanced animation like we can create an After Effects so make sure to use After Effects if you're really planning to create a nice animation you know and as always all this project will be down below in the description so make sure to check out the link to download this project if you don't want to make an After Effects from scratch so Hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe to my two YouTube channels which is English and Spanish and also like the Facebook, Twitter and make sure to keep in tune for the next tutorial. Thanks so much and see you next week.